what's the validation that this technique works? Well, probably the best trial and the largest trial is going to be this Akron National CT Colonography Trial. This was carried out uh, at 15 sites. We at the San Francisco VA was one of the 15 sites. You can see over 2,500 patients. These are all uh, adult patients age 50 or above, and they were all screening or asymptomatic patients. And what was uh, particularly unique about this study is that they used trained radiologists to, to uh, read these cases. You'll hear about some of the older studies with uh, uh, suboptimal performance and uh, lower sensitivities, and a, a big problem was that they were using radiologists who didn't have as much experience in reading the CT colonography studies. But in this particular study, we all had to undergo uh, specific training and testing. So these were the results. And I'd like to bring your attention to the per patient sensitivity for the larger polyps you can see was at 90%. Now this does decrease as we go down to the smaller size polyps, but remember as we go down to the smaller polyps, there's a much lower chance of uh, malignancy. So uh, this certainly is at the level of uh, colonoscopy. This was another study uh, that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine that compared CT colonography versus the colonoscopy. And uh, you can see over 3,000 patients in each arm. So the patients either underwent the virtual colonoscopy or they went, underwent the colonoscopy. And what was found was that the total number of cases of advanced neoplasia or cases of pre-malignancy or malignancy was actually the same in both arms of the study. However, you can see that the number of polypectomies that were performed, or polypectomies is the resection of these lesions, to diagnose the same number of cases of advanced neoplasia was much lower in the virtual colonoscopy arm compared to the colonoscopy arm. So many more patients had to undergo the invasive procedure and had to have their polyps taken out in order to detect the same exact number, pretty much, of cases of advanced neoplasia. Also note that in the virtual colonoscopy arm, there were absolutely no perforations of the colon, whereas in the colonoscopy arm, there were seven perforations. And with perforations, obviously, when you poke a hole big enough, patients will then have to undergo a colostomy and surgery.